Welcome to the Designer Bums Cloth Nappy Tutorial. Designer Bums nappies are a one size fits most cloth nappy that fits from 3.5 kilos to toilet training. These nappies come with two high quality bamboo inserts that can be placed either in the pocket or on top of the pocket against the baby's skin. Next we'll show you how to get a great fit on your baby. Welcome to the Designer Bums Fit Guide. Audrey is today's model, she's 7 months old and 8 kilos and is currently on the second rice setting using both inserts. Okay, so designer bums best fit. So the inserts are laid out with the long one on the top and the small one on the bottom. Just on top of the nappy and the long one is folded over and under like that so that there's extra absorbency at the front. So we just grab it and pop it underneath the bottom and pull the tabs out so that it's even on both sides. So then I grab the insert. Hey, there you go. Grab the insert and fold it up and over. And just make sure that there's no lumps or bumps in there anyway. And then I grab each side of the elastic down below, pulling it up tight in through her um, crease in her groin there. So then I pinch the nappy a little bit in the middle like so and then I push her leg up so that I can get right into the crack of her groin there um, into the crease, beg your pardon. And then I pull it up and around so that the crease here where I've put the snaps in is right up at the top of her leg. And I pull that around and then I grab the back piece of the nappy <coughs> And then I pull that up towards her shoulder and then around. There you go. There you go. <laughs> up and around, and then I snap it into place. And don't throw it away. There you go. Same on the other side. So I grab the entire nappy, including the insert, and I'm just making sure that it's actually sitting right in the crease of her leg where the under undie line is and then I make sure that it's flat underneath before I pull it across and then I grab the back piece and I pull it out and up towards her shoulder and then across the front and then I snap it up. Now then I grab the back part that sits around her bottom and I pull it up so that when her leg is up like so, when she's uh, crawling or whatever, um, this is actually sitting in the natural crease of her leg and I do the same thing on this side. Now you see there's quite a bit of gape there so if you've got that you just snap it up one tighter at the waist. And then the last thing I do is where the where you've got the snaps um, done up for the rise um, there's a little bit of a fold there so I usually just push that up so that it's folded up rather than down and it also means that the elastic the, the largest part of the elastic is in the largest part of her uh, crease in her groin there. And that's it. So then, when she's turned over, you can see that we have a nice fit around her back. It's not too tight, even though we've tightened it up to the second tightest uh, fitting. And we've got a nice, good seal around the back of her legs there. And that's it.